Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up a quick import to Asana where you can create a bunch of tasks in a uh, workspace and project that can have subtasks or and or custom fields on those tasks and assign them to people and all the bells and whistles. So let's start by looking at Asana. I have here a project they call Home Stuff. Let's pretend I'm managing my house just for fun. I have three different sections of the project. Let's say we want, we're going to add stuff to doing. And I have here a spreadsheet. Pretend this is a CSV. Um, you can also just, this is just a Google Sheet, so you can use a Google Sheet. The column names don't matter because we're going to map them to the fields in Asana, but I've named them um, basically the same as the fields in Asana. So here's the name of a task, the, the notes for the task, if it's, if it's due on a certain date. If you need to make it due on a date and time, you use due at, but not due on. You can assign it to a person via their email or their full name in Asana. You can add followers to the task. You can like or heart the task. You can add tags that come a separate list of tags. Um, if the tag is not in Asana already, Easy CSV will create it and add it to the task. You can make subtasks that have a name, notes. You can assign it to somebody if it's due on. And we're going to let you do five to ten of these. I'm only going to show you how to do two. And then I have some columns for custom fields on my tasks. Uh, so these are just all the random different types. Like if there's a, you know, a couple different, you know, priorities you can pick from. Maybe you've made a list in that custom field. Maybe it's just text. Maybe it's a number. Maybe it's a percent. Maybe it's a dollar value. Uh, Easy CSV supports all the different custom field types, which I'll show you. So we're going to change each row of my importing spreadsheet file into tasks. Uh, so let's take a look here. You can upload a file or you can just search for your Google Sheet. What it's going to do is going to start making a page that you can use to import the file. So in this case, we'll just call this one Home Stuff Import. And if you have a bunch of columns that you don't care about from that spreadsheet, like you're not going to map to you know, Asana tasks, you can just uncheck them here. But I'm going to use all the, all the fields. Do next. Where do we want to send the data to? We want to send it to Asana. It'll then make your page, if you've connected Asana, it's going to select your like the first workspace and the first um, project. You'll see here it, it selected my test workspace and my first project. And so all I have to do is map the CSV uh, or the spreadsheet columns to the Asana fields for a task. You may have to connect your Asana account first. If you connect your account, uh, Asana account first, you may have to go in and uh, choose your workspace and project. So the import data flow is where we um, let you see how data can come in. So you can you can always drag a file or search for a Google Sheet file on here. That's kind of this first option. You can make an API call to make a post request. You can send an email with the file attached. Maybe you get a file every week and you want to automate, automate making tasks from it. You can fetch a CSV from a server or an FTP server or Google Drive or something. Maybe somebody puts up a spreadsheet for you to get. You can schedule that every 10 minutes, hour, 24 hours every week to get that file and make stuff automatically. Once you get the file, Easy CSV has a couple options here. One is we did this in the setup. We said what columns we care about. There's 22. You can filter out bad data. So maybe there's some rows where you don't want to make a task. Like maybe there's some title row or something. You can say like, you know, name must exist. And it'll only import rows where name is defined. Virtual fields, these are fields that might not be in the spreadsheet, but you want to make new fields, like either combining fields or massaging data or extracting data, and then map this field to an Asana field. So you can always just take exactly what you're given and then massage it into what you need for Asana. And then here is where all the Asana settings are. So in this case, we're just creating a task with optional subtasks, and you can do your workspace and section. So you know, in our case, we don't want to go to to do. I'm going to show you how to go to any section. So let's go to doing. So instead of to do on home stuff, we're going to go to doing. I'll save that. Cool. This page is updated. I'll just go back to the import flow and show you. Yep. It'll go to home stuff and doing. And the last step we need to do is map the columns. So here's all the Asana fields for a task on the left. And it tells you some details about that. You can see if there's custom fields. Um, and then you can start making subtasks down here. So we're going to take the name column from my spreadsheet. So these are all the spreadsheet columns over here. So you're going to take name goes to name. Yours might not be named the exact same, so you can just map. Do assign E. I'm just going to go down here and map them all. 
tags has to be a comma separate list of tags. Priority is a custom field. Super custom. See how the name of the spreadsheet column does not have to match the name of the Asana field? That's because this is just mapping it for you. Um, do status here. We'll do favorite numbers, just a random number. These are just uh, funny named custom fields I've put in. So subtasks, um, you can create between five and ten. You'll see it'll it'll be down here, and you can it'll it'll have less fields than the parent task, but you can do name and notes, and you can um, make it do. You can do an assignee. Let's see, subtask two name, subtask two do on, subtask two assignee, subtask two notes. Cool. We'll save that. So now there's 21 fields mapped. So you know these are all the mapping. So if you ever have a column name change or you make a virtual field, you can remap them. So now you're ready. You can either email the field as an attachment. You can fetch the field from some server. I'm just gonna, or you can drag the file here. I'm just gonna show you how to import this Google Sheet. So right, I have this Google Sheet over here. If you had something that filtered out, it would have filtered out rows there. So let's import these three records. It'll take a second to get going, and then it'll start processing all the records. Awesome. Then it sends you an email. See, there's success, success, successful. If you refresh, you'll see you get a log down here um, of every time it runs. So if, if you're getting emails and stuff, you can always come in here and check that. If we go over to Asana, we see the three tasks were made. These, these couple had subtasks. You'll see the subtasks on here. Right? If I need to mow the lawn, I need to mow the backyard and start the mower, you'll see that these custom fields are set right, correctly. Same with water the plants. This has two subtasks. You'll see the tags were added here as well. Due date, assign E. Uh, and sweep the garage. This one had subtasks, but I didn't set any custom fields here. You'll see that those are empty. So you don't have to set everything if you don't want to for every row. Uh, Easy CSV will handle that for you. So that's how you import a bunch of tasks uh, into Asana from EasyCSV. If you have any questions, please contact support. Thanks.